Welcome to Bill's Bridge Corner, Wednesday, January 8th, 2013. Class 77, Answers to Defensive Play Quiz. I gave you 12 questions yesterday on defense. They had to do with opening leads and discards. I hope that your opening leads are better than this poor chap here. Here we go, here are the answers to yesterday's quiz. And one, dealer is west, neither side vulnerable. Here is your hand. The bidding is as you see here. And the contract is three diamonds. Your partner leaves the king of hearts. Down comes dummy. Plan your play. Before you go, you need to place where the cards may be. Look to the bidding and to the lead. South should have either the ace or the king of clubs because if partner had both of, both of them he would have led the ace of clubs. Where is the ace of diamonds? Well if South had the king or ace of clubs and the ace of diamonds he would have gone on to gain based on North strong bidding. So it must be the partner has the ace of diamonds. With those cards in place let's plan the defense. We have four tricks. We have the ace of diamonds a club, either the ace or the king, and we have two hearts based on the opening lead. The only way we can get our fifth trick is in pr Trump promotion. Well, how do we do that? Here's the whole hand. Let's look. Overtake the king with the ace, return a heart, partner returns a heart, and your seven of diamonds forces the ten. Partner wins the first diamond and leads the fourth heart. Your eight of diamonds becomes the setting trick. Great defense. Hand two. Dealer south, north south vulnerable. This is your hand. The bidding has gone. One diamond, two no trump, three no trump. Contract is three no trump. Opening lead is six of spades. Down comes dummy. You play the jack as you learned. Lowest of sequence of owners. Declare overtakes with the king. South now leads out diamonds. You know well enough to signal high low, giving a count to your partner on the diamond suit, looking at the diamonds on the board. And partner wins the third diamond trick. The question is, what do you do? What is your plan? Well, if you use the rule of 11, you should know. Here's the bidding, and here's the play. At trick one, using the rule of 11, you know that partner spades are ready to one run. 11 minus 6 is 5. Dummy has the 9. You have 3. So, at this point, South had only one spade higher than the 6, and he's played it. Partner, unfortunately, does not know that you have the queen of spades. How do you solve this problem? Here's the whole hand. It's a discard. You pitch the queen of spades. Partners in with the ace of diamonds, he knows now to cash four spades. You set them one trick, four spades, the ace of diamonds. Good defense. And three. Dealer west, north south vulnerable. This time you're on lead. The bidding goes. Pass, pass. One diamond by your partner, four spades by south. And pass, pass, but now your partner double, all pass your lead. You lead the queen of diamonds because partner told you to. He doubled it. You continue the suit when partner played the nine. That must be an encouraging signal. Partner wins the ace, continues the third diamond, declare follow. That means they each had three. You know the diamond suit now. Partner now leads the king of clubs, declare takes the ace. Plan your play as a defender. Declare is now going to run a bunch of spades. It's pretty clear from his bid. He's got a bunch of them. What do you do? Plan to pitch all your hearts. You have no defense, but your partner does. The point is, your partner needs to know what to hold on to. Partner can be helped by what you discard. Here's the whole hand. As you see it, partner has to hold on to his clubs. How does he know that? As Declare cashes his spades, you pitch all your hearts. Partner will be watching. Get a count on the heart suit and know that he must protect clubs. Don't pitch the clubs. They're no good anyway, but tell partner something that he can use. Great defense, partner. Thank you. Opening leads. Most of the rest are opening leads. 
You're on lead is West. What is your lead and why? Bidding goes one diamond, one heart, two clubs, three no trump. This is your hand. What is your lead and what's the reasoning? South has four hearts, or he would have used four suit forcing. He originally bid hearts, but he did not go back and ask for a 5-3 fit. Therefore, South has four hearts. South is ready for a spade. That's the only unbid suit. So don't lead a spade. Lead his suit to two of hearts. It can't be that strong. Next hand. Again, you're on lead. Goes one spade, one no trump, three no trump. Partner doubles. Your hand is, well, your hand is your hand. It's pretty bad. You on lead, though. What do you lead? Do you lead a heart? Partner's double tells you what to lead. It tells you to lead dummy's first bid suit, which is spades. Your hard suit's never going to set up anyway. And if it did, you have no entry to your hand. Your hand is dead. Make the best you can of the situation by leading that spade for partner. By the way, if partner does, doesn't understand and you goof it up, discuss it with your partner because that's what his double means. Next hand, you're on lead again. What's your lead and why? This time the bidding is simple. One no, three no. I'll pass. Before you go any further on this hand, let's just count points. You have 14. They bid three no trump by themselves. They should have at least 25. 14 plus 25 is 39. Partner has a bust. He doesn't even have a jack. He might have a jack, but he doesn't have a queen. Now, if you're going to set this contract, you've got to set up the heart suit. And so you need to lead a heart, but which heart? Well, since partner doesn't have the queen, it may not matter. But just in case, for insurance, lead that king of hearts. Why? Somebody might have a singleton queen running around. There. You don't know that. Particularly the north hand might have a singleton queen of hearts. You might as well. You're not going to lose anything anyway. That's the right lead. And seven. Your west on lead again. What's your lead? One no trump. Pass. Two clubs. Pass. Two spades. Pass. Three no trump. This is your hand. Well, listening to the bidding, what do we know? South has spades. North has hearts. You have nothing. Partner did not double club. Well, there's only one suit left, diamond. So lead it, lead the seven of diamonds. Next hand, same question. Five diamonds by South. You're on lead, this is your hand. Place the outstanding cards and what's your lead? Well, South has a bunch of diamonds probably headed by the king. You have two tricks coming to you, most likely the two diamonds, the ace queen of diamonds. If you lead any other suit, you're likely to give the declare a gift. Don't give gifts. What your play is in this hand, interestingly, is something doesn't make sense on the surface. Lead the ace of diamonds. Your queen will still take a trick because you have three of them. And once you play the ace of diamonds, your partner might give you a signal. But more than that, you see what's in the dummy. You get a much better idea of what your lead to trick two is. The key to this hand, and on all high-level hands such as this, high-level contracts, is not to give gifts to the declarer. Usually you play passive. This is certainly a case in point. Next hand. Same question. What's your lead and why? The bidding goes pass, pass, one no trump, two diamonds, and I'll pass. Well, what is two diamonds? This is your hand. You ask what two diamonds is and it is don't. Okay, diamonds plus a major. Well, let's think. North passed two diamonds, so he prefers to play in diamonds than either major. So that means that dummy is going to be short in both majors. And whatever major declare has, he's going to be roughing it in dummy. Dummy has made a preference to diamonds by passing. He's going to be roughing a major. What's your defense? Lead Trump. Lead the six of diamonds. Next hand. Hand ten. This is your hand. The bidding goes two clubs. Demand bid. Two diamonds. Waiting. Two no trump. Twenty-two to twenty-four. Three no trump. I'll pass. Your lead. What's your lead? You lead the jack of diamonds. Good as anything. Down comes dummy. Trick one. It goes jack. Four. Five. Queen. Well, diamonds don't offer much help. 
Trick two, declare leads the king of clubs. We hold off, play the eight, dummy the two, partner for the five. Partner should be giving a count signal. Trick three, we win with the ace as partner plays a higher club. He's played up the line, so that means that he has three clubs. Let's lay out the club suit. Six in dummy, partner has three, you have two. That leaves two for the declare. That means clubs are dead. So what you do? Partner gave you count. You don't know if partner likes your diamonds, but it's time to be passive. If you lead anything else, you're likely to, again, like in earlier hand, give tricks away. Don't give gifts. Play passive. Let the declare fight for his tricks. You lead a diamond. Any other lead gives declare his contract. Here's the whole hand. Let's look at it. If you lead either hearts or spades, you just gave South his ninth trick. Shame on you. And 11. The bidding goes one spade past two no trump, Jacoby. That's a forcing ring, a forcing raise. Three diamonds shows a shortness in diamonds, and he goes north, signs off in four spades. It's your lead. What is your lead? Without even looking, you should have a strategy for setting this contract. You have the master trump, and you have a short suit headed by the ace. With the trump control, you lead the ace of hearts, then a heart. Here's the whole hand. Declare wins the king of hearts and leads trump. You're in with the ace of spades. You lead a diamond. Suit preference signal, higher ranking suit, to partner's ace, and he gives you a hard rough. Thank you, partner, you're paying attention. Last hand. You are east, dealer is south, and neither side vulnerable. This is your hand. Betting goes one heart, pass, one spade, pass, two diamonds, pass, three diamonds, pass, three no trump, all pass. Contract is three, no opening lead is the two of clubs. Down comes dummy. And before you go any further, you need to be thinking along the lines of distribution. Where are the cards? Let's figure this out. Partner's lead was the two of clubs. That means he has four of them, probably. So that means that South has three clubs. Okay. But now let's look at that bidding again. five hearts for his opening bid, and he has three or four diamonds for his second bid. We know he has three clubs, so he has exactly one spade. I don't know what spade it is, but do I care? Even if it's an honor, I have the ace. You win the ace of clubs and lay down the ace of spades. Surprise. Let's look at the whole hand. South has the one spade, it happened to be the king, and he thought that was good enough, but you got him. You win the ace, and now the defense gets four spade tricks, plus a club. That's five tricks for the defense. Well done. Tomorrow, we're going to change the subject and get into slam bidding. There's a series that'll go on for many days on the whole subject of bidding slams. See you then.